As the world watches the situation in Afghanistan unfold, the center here in Utica is thinking about how this may impact our city in central New York. Eyewitness News reporter Jamie Azule spoke with the center's executive director this afternoon to learn more. The center says they have no information on if or when the United States government will send refugees from Afghanistan here to Utica, but they're ready to help if they do. This is what we do. We're ready to receive folks and um, yeah, I, I, um, I look forward to really being able to do our part. As an organization that has helped resettle over 16,000 refugees and is staffed by many refugees themselves, Callahan says watching the footage coming out of Afghanistan is traumatizing. This whole thing is just horrifying. I, you know, I have to believe that there was a better way to, to kind of step down, but now that it's happened, we have to save the people that we made um, commitments to. Uh, not just because, you know, um, it, it's absolutely morally the right thing to do, but also if we're going to be trusted going forward when we make alliances in other places, you know, you have to take care of the people that um, agreed to work with you and that you made a commitment to. The center typically has at least two weeks notice before a refugee arrives. But in a rapidly developing situation like this, they anticipate only having one or two days to prepare. I have no doubt that the local community will step up and folks have already come forward and said um, that they would like to do uh, whatever they can to help. And so if we start to receive folks, um, we'll probably be asking for the community to help a little bit. For now, they say to reach out to people you may know from that part of the world, stay informed, donate to refugee groups if you can, and reach out to elected officials to say that you support helping refugees. Reporting in Utica, I'm Jamie Azule, Eyewitness News.